Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to around the 27th of September. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Very run to around a couple of weeks. Have a look at the CFS B2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, which will take us to the middle of October, more or less. I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video release date was our 7am forecast. We've also released Jeremy Friday as well. So check out those two if you'd like to do that. And can be live streaming uh, tonight after 10 o'clock. So uh, yes, got a Friday night live stream. I shall see you uh, then for that one. I'll tell you what's coming up over the weekend at the end of the video. Uh, right, we're going to begin in the Tropic Atlantic, as we always do at the moment during the hurricane season. So we've got several interest areas. Uh, we've still got the remnants of Nicholas just here across the southern part of the United States. That's still bringing lots of heavy showers and thunderstorms to uh, those uh, Gulf Coast states. We've got a red X just here off uh, the coast of North Carolina. Um, that disturbance too, a 70% chance of cyclone formation in the next uh, two days and a 70% chance in the next five days. Um, so keep an eye close eye on that. We've got uh, disturbance one with a 60% chance of cyclone formation in the next uh, two days and a 70% chance in the next five days. And we've got this uh, yellow X just here, disturbance spring, just with a 10 to 20% chance of cyclone formation in the next two to five days. It's all happening, it's all going on, and we'll be keeping a close eye to see whether any of these disturbance areas uh, do actually develop into tropical storms and or hurricanes. Of course we will. Uh, right, CT is uh, looking like this. Didn't uh, come down at all yesterday, so it held steady at 17.4. That is over three degrees above average. That's provisional to uh, yesterday, the 16th of, uh, of uh, September. GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. So next couple of weeks, we're like, looking like this. We're going to Penzance today. This is another suggested uh, location for this part of the video. If you'd like to have your local town or city featured within this part of the video, then please let us know through the comments. Or you can email me at gazweathers at gmail.com. And we're happy to add you to our suggested uh, locations list. So red light is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Penzance. We're starting off still warm and average at the moment. We're going to see the upper air temperature coming down over weekend and into uh, the early part of next week becoming quite cool. And then after that through the last days of September, just looking generally quite cool really for Penzance now. Um, so, so not a particularly warm period uh, coming up, uh, you know, over the rest of September. It looks like we've lost the, the heat there. Um, temperatures much closer to average or even a little bit below. And that carries on into the early part of October as well. Also looks a lot more unsettled uh, also. So we've got showers or longer spells of rain coming up over the next few days. There's a little bit of a drier slot there through the middle part of next week. And then pretty unsettled, you know, through the through last stages of next week. The right way through to the end of September and into early October. You look at that ensemble graph, and you definitely think that there's a much more autumnal flavour to the weather coming up uh, for, from the weekend onwards, uh, essentially. Bear in mind that is Penzance, so it's going to be exposed to the Atlantic and uh, whatnot. But I think we are entering into a period uh, of, of more unsettled and uh, a more autumnal type weather, really, over the next uh, week or two. Temperature anomaly is from the 17th, 25th of September, going to be around to a little bit above average. So uh, the weight for like a uh, cooler average temperature anomaly is continuous, but it's nowhere near as excessively warm as it was like, like a week or two ago. Precipitation anomaly is gradually getting a little bit more unsettled with these now. 17th, 20th, 25th of September, actually looking a bit wetter than average for some northern and western parts of the country, something we've not been able to say for a long time. Uh, still a little bit drier on average further south, but I expect these to start trending uh, more unsettled over the next few days. Latest wind from that from EarthNorthSchool.net shows that we have got a lot of low pressure waiting in the Atlantic. So, uh, yes, so the Atlantic is living up. We've talked about this a lot over the past few days with the uh, wind flow maps. So, uh, so yeah, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the low pressure is beginning to get its act together now in the Atlantic, putting the high pressure ridge increasingly under stress. And, uh, and we can expect to change, I think, over the next week or so to more unsettled and low pressure dominated conditions. 
Right, so let's have a look at some chart data then. Now, here we go with the UK Met for Monday, where we've got low pressure slipping away to our south into France and a rich building through uh, the country on Monday. So the open of next week, Monday, Tuesday, should bring a reasonable amount of high pressure through the country. Although even as early as Tuesday, that high pressure is beginning to get broken down a little bit by this low coming into west of Scotland. And the trend through next week with the UK Met is to increasingly unsettle weather, deepening low pressure over and to the north of the country with strong winds, maybe up to gale force, and, uh, and heavy rain showers or longer spells of rain uh, coming through as well. So increasingly cool and unsettled through next week with the UK Met at the weather outlook today. This is how the GFS midnight run was looking. So this low could bring some rain to more southern areas over the last part of the weekend. That will move away through Monday to Tuesday. We get this rich building from the Azores High. Uh, deepening low pressure around Iceland by Wednesday. Begin to put that ridge under pressure. And as we go into the second half of next week, GFS breaks down the ridge very quickly. Has this low pressure diving in from uh, the northwest. And one of those diving lows. Interesting. Um, so we have this low pressure diving in from the north, bringing uh, spells of rain. And with winds going into the northwest to north, becoming much cooler through the second half next week as well. Uh, we actually go to a northerly wind there by Saturday, 25th of September, last Saturday of the month, into a northerly wind. So obviously it's a lot cooler, even colder with that. Maybe even cold enough for the first snowflakes to fall over Scottish mountains. And, uh, and really quite autumnal as well. Moving up to day 10, uh, ridge of high pressure starts to move back in from off the Atlantic, or tries to, uh, anyway. That is within cool air, though, so that's a cool ridge of high pressure. Very quick, so that gets broken as, as more low pressure comes in off the Atlantic. And as I was saying when we looked at the ensemble graph, it's just a much, uh, generally much more unsettled autumnal sort of flavour to the weather over the next uh, couple of weeks, to be honest. As we get to the end of the GFS uh, run, which today gets us to Sunday, the 3rd of October, uh, we've got low pressure sitting over France, high pressure over Scandinavia, pulling the wind back into the east. That is a cooler easterly wind than we've had uh, through September, though. That will probably have a little bit of a chill to it. This Sabre 6 Z is looking. Uh, latest GFS run again. We've got this ridge from the Azores to Scandinavia, on Monday, should bring a rather drier day. Uh, a little bit different then through uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. The high pressure strengthens over uh, the country. So it's delaying, as it said, it's delaying the change to unsettled weather a little bit. It's not until around Friday that the high pressure starts to pull out into the Atlantic and this low begins to move in. So uh, actually, most of next week on the 6th said it's under high pressure. I'm <laughs> telling us that it's still uncertainty. Uh, about this flip into autumnal weather, but eventually it does get there. So as we go into the last weekend of September, um, delayed by a couple of days, but by the last weekend of September, we are into much cooler and much more unsettled weather with winds in from the north and from the northwest uh, as well. In the extended range, <coughs> excuse me, in the extended range, you have this deep area of low pressure moving in from off the Atlantic, that'll bring a lot of wet and windy weather with it to the end of September and into the early part of uh, October. GM looks like this. If you enjoyed the video, please bring you a smash your like button. Make sure you sub to the channel. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And drop a comment. Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. GM looks like this on uh, Monday, uh, trying to get this ridge building from your Azores to Scandinavia. It does successfully ridge. Uh, the two high pressure do, does success, do successfully ridge together through to Tuesday. Um, that carries on into Wednesday, but by Thursday and Friday, the high pressure breaks, ridge breaks, in comes low pressure from the north, that brings spells of rain, and much cooler and much more autumnal type uh, weather, and that takes us on into the end of a GM run where we uh, look unsettled and uh, quite cool as well. And then we've got the ECM uh, looking like that. So once more, a ridge from the Azores to Scandinavia trying to uh, get going. That ridge carries on through to Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, deepening low pressure on Iceland brings uh, the first band of heavy rain and strong winds into Scotland. England away are still just about hanging on to the ridge by, by the fingertips. But by Thursday and Friday, uh, all areas turn uh, unsettled, wet and windy weather sweeping in from off the Atlantic. Proper flip into autumn. 
uh, there with an active cold front bringing heavy rain and then uh, much cooler temperatures. And then very unsettled uh, with another deepening area of low pressure around Sunday with 26th of September. That looks quite stormy. Gale force winds in the all with that and heavy rain too. And we finish up on the 27th of September at day 10 with uh, low pressure over Norway. High pressure ridging in the middle of the Atlantic up to Greenland and pulling in what could be quite a cold northwesterly to uh, northerly winds. So cold and uh, wet and quite stormy uh, end to the ECM uh, run today. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10, uh, which gets to be 27th of September from the Icelandic Met Office. 17 members of the ECM ensembles, including that operational run we just looked at, have a mid-Atlantic ridge heading up to Greenland with a trough of low pressure over Norway and winds in from the northwest to the north. Cool, maybe quite stormy and wet. 13 with low pressure over to the west of the country. That looks very unsettled. Not quite as cold. Winds in from the southwest, but will be unsettled. 10, low pressure to the north of Scotland. In come the westerly winds. Uh, 7, again, with a mid-Atlantic ridge up towards southern Greenland. Low pressure over to the east of the country. Again, cold, wet, quite stormy with that potentially. And 4, very minority option, has us under high pressure still. At, uh, at day 10. Most of the options seem to involve low pressure dominating and a flip into autumnal weather by day 10. In two weeks' time, uh, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 2nd of October. 25 members of the ECM ensemble still have the mid-Atlantic ridge up to Greenland idea with a trough of low pressure over UK and Ireland. That's going to be cool and unsettled. We have 13 with uh, northern blocking, high pressure between Greenland and Norway, low pressure over uh, Biscay. Winds will be in from the east with that. That could bring wet weather into the south uh, and will probably be quite cool. And then 13 have low pressure to our uh, northeast. Again, high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic up towards Greenland, but a ridge also extending down into France. Probably reasonable amount of dry weather with that and not quite as cool. Winds more sort of west to northwesterly. Um, with that one. But it all looks rather autumnal now, I have to say. You know, when we get beyond the weekend and into next week, uh, it looks like there is a there is a change here to autumnal weather. Although that 6 HFS run does add a little bit of a uh, spanner in the works, just for a bit of a spanner in the works, um, trying to keep the high pressure and the warmer, drier weather going. I suspect it will be through next week. I suspect it will be an outlier. We'll know in around an hour or so's time. Uh, whether it was or not. But other than that, it looks like there is a general, you know, sort of uh, dissension into uh, autumnal weather next week. Uh, so this week to finally for October, these are, this is the 700 millibar high only for October, going for a mid-Atlantic ridge to southern parts of Greenland. Probably a trough of low pressure through here and a bit of a northwest southeast alignment to the jet stream. So it could be rather cool and unsettled. Uh, with that, no particular signal for the temperature anomaly. And the precipitation anomaly, again, has no particular signal uh, with that one either. Uh, I reckon relatively cool and perhaps a little bit more unsettlement could be possible, though, there, uh, based on the 700 millibar high tommy with that mid-Atlantic ridge. Okay, if you enjoyed the video, then please can smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thanks for doing this uh, for Gaz or Weather Vids. If you sub, you're going to be able to see future... What am I doing? I'm doing that. Uh, if, that's it. If you sub, you're going to be able to see future weather content. So thank you so much, uh, everybody, for doing that. And uh, you're helping us to get to our next target, which is 13,000 subscribers. We've just reached 12k, uh, and we're on the grind now, 13k. So uh, please uh, give us a sub, and thanks so much for doing that. And uh, drop a comment in a second, and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. Just say what's coming up over the weekend. Uh, so we're going to be live streaming tonight after 10 o'clock. I'll see you then. Over the weekend, we've got uh, our Sony and broadcast tomorrow, uh, followed by uh, the ECM WF42 day forecast. We get forecast at a 10 to 40. It's going to be an epic day tomorrow. Sunday, we begin with the 7 a.m. Uh, forecast. We will have part one of the third winter 2021-2022 update. Uh, that will be released at 10 a.m. and be live streaming from uh, 6 p.m. Uh, on Sunday evening. Um, and that's going to be great. And then on Monday, of course, we've got part two of the third winter update being released. And that will be at 6 p.m., I think, on Monday evening. 
Right, you enjoy the rest of your uh, Friday afternoon, and I shall see you uh, after 10 o'clock tonight. But for this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.